welcome to our first science conference for fifth and sixth grades. Round of applause. Hello, dear guests. My name is Eva, and I'd like to tell you about Sherlock Holmes and who he was in reality. I chose this topic because it's very interesting and I found the Sherlock very cool guy. Almost know him, but not all consider him fictional. So, was he a real person or not? Let's learn! Um, every, year, thousands of people, every year, thousands of people visit one of the most famous address. 221B Baker Street, London, where Sherlock lived and worked. But I must confess, what he wasn't a real person. But why a lot of people forget about that? Because they are so fake and they the stories about him and his famous methods for solving mysteries. So, it is often said the character Sherlock Holmes was based on a real person named Joseph Bell, a surgeon for whom Conan Doyle worked. Uh, Sherlock Holmes? Uh, problem-solving ability and powers of observation are real. And although the character Sherl the character Sherlock Holmes made made up, but most of the location are real. Uh, Conan Doyle is a master to describe Street of London, and most of the Sherlock fans like to visit this place. Who <coughs> like Sherlock Holmes? Raise your hand. <laughs> well, in my research, I found out. Next slide, please. Uh, well, in my research, I found out uh, who write this amazing story about Sherlock Holmes, who is a prototype of him. Uh, hello, uh, everybody. My name is Mark. I would like to tell you about uh, Russian and American holidays. Um, I chose this topic uh, because I wanted to learn more about holidays in America um, because I already know about holidays in my country. Uh, every nation and every country has own customs and traditional traditions. Uh, uh, but they also have international holidays, uh, which are celebrated in many countries all the, over the world, uh, such as Christmas, New Year, and Easter. In my research, I would like to, <laughs> I will compare Russian and American holidays. Christmas is one of the most favorite uh, holiday for American uh, people. Uh, families gather for traditional Christmas dinner, give presents and congratulate each other. In our country we celebrate uh, the New Year. It is the most uh, favorite holiday for our Russian people. Um, in Russia we have Maslinitsa. Um, we eat some pancakes and have a lot of fun. Uh, on the 23rd of uh, February. Uh, Easter is the one of the most important Christian holidays. Uh, this holiday has the same meaning for the both nations. Uh, on this day, believers celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Uh, in Russia, we also celebrate the Victory Day, which is one of the great holidays. It is known in many countries of the world uh, that suffered uh, from Nazi Germany. In conclusion, I can say uh, uh, that I learned more about holidays in uh, America. I compared Russian and American holidays. Um, they are very different and similar, and at the same time, uh, all about family, love, uh, having fun, and enjoying every minute of the same. Cl click. One, two, three. Uh -huh, one, 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 one. Uh, one more. Uh -huh. One more. <laughs> and and one more. keep them coming, <laughs> keep them coming. Yeah. More pictures. Okay. Thank you. My name is Gabriel, and to tell you about the topic, Englishman home is his castle. Home and house. The English word house, meaning uh, a house as a building. One can say, for example, one can say a five-story house a beautiful house, an old or a modern house. With the word home, Englishmen associate <coughs> a, such concept as family, family comfort, health, rest, health. For the British, the home is his, like a nest. <laughs>
A house in English, not something you simply own. The house is you to. The house is what you create, what you work on. I like to tell you about uh, history of Big Ben and Kremlin Club. Big Ben is the largest of the six bells in Westminster Palace. Many people think that it's the name of the clock tower in London, but in fact, the name refers to the biggest bell inside the, of the tower behind the clock dial. The Kremlin clock or Kremlin chimes, also known in the West as Moscow clock tower is a history <coughs> clock on the Spassky Tower of Moscow Kremlin. The clock dial is above the main gate to Red Square. Big Ben and Kremlin chimes for many countries were dumb witnesses of <coughs> the dramatic history of each country and became a great symbols of Great Britain and the Russian, well known all over the world. Apart from politeness between two people, you must have good manners uh, in public. Always cover your uh, young, your and say sorry. Uh, don't uh, speak loudly, don't uh, uh, speak and don't bark. When invited at someone's home for dinner, first of all, write it on time. Uh, begin late it's very rude. I would like to say that there are a lot of manners in Britain. We need to follow them in order to stay polite. Uh, uh, England is the biggest of four countries uh, of the United Kingdom. In the England live 50 million of people. Uh, in England, uh, school uniform is required uh, for all students. The winter uh, in the England is very soft. Uh, I love, I very love England. I want to travel uh, to England. Thank you. Well, London is a home to many museums and galleries. The National Theatre Globe is ready to learn now in the world of classical music. Moscow is a major cultural and tourist center of Europe and the world. Modern Moscow has more than uh, 100 theaters. The city uh, has more than 60 museums. Yes. London is more than 1,000 uh, years older than Moscow. However, nowadays both cities are global cities and the world. Moscow and London hold several world records. And uh, now Moscow and London uh, are major tourist uh, destinations. So, uh, Bond Street. Bond Street was one of the best now for antiquary shops and art shops. Now it is now it is a famous uh, special boutiques and one expensive brand in the world. And on this street is printing of publishing. Now it's center for changing and newspaper man. Last I want to tell you about Oxford Street. Oxford Street uh, very famous because this street uh, for many centers there were places of public executions. In my work, I was able to cover London yesterday and today to see and feel the spirit of past and present. Time passes, but so for an answer, city lives up to this day. Hello, everyone. My name is Vlada, and today I'm going to tell you about my song, very popular song. Can you guess which one? Which song? No. Happy Guys. Uh. <laughs> the song was actually composed by uh, Mildred Hill and. Uh, her younger sister, Patsy Hill. According to a study by researchers from Garvard University and University of Minnesota, um, singing the happy birthday song may actually uh, make uh, birthday cake uh, taste better. It's probably the most uh, sung uh, English song in the world. So let's sing this song. No. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Hello everybody, my name is Lara and today I'm going to tell you about one city, a very popular university city. Do you guess which one? It's a Cambridge, you know? Yes, it's Cambridge. Cambridge is the second or oldest university in Great Britain after Oxford. Um, it is located in the River Ham and uh, takes its name from this river. The British are famous for their politeness and sense of humor. 
like any other people, they have their own social customs. In communication, two Englishmen are called. Emotions of the British is a manifestation of the chalicity, but they always smile if they don't like you. On the other hand, such reserved and cold Englishmen have a sense of humor, which is difficult from other countries. The British have an expression for following these uh, unwritten rules. When you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. Uh, comics culture gives people a new way of learning various stories, mostly in science fiction and fantasy genres. The comics of Marvel Publishing House are one of the most popular films. Uh, animated movies and video games based on Marvel Universe comics are released each year and they become very popular with children and adults. Yes, the Spider-Man animation uh, what the Spider-Man animation project through universes not only turned my eyes on the Spider-Man world, but also made uh, me fa familiar uh, myself with the original version of this story called Spider-Man Spider-World. This animated film gives people a new uh, insight uh, into the world of the famous superhero and is recommended uh, for family waving for on the weekend. In 2050, uh, a judge ruled that, uh, that the copyright to the Happy Birthday to You was unveiled, putting the song in the public domain. Uh, the lawsuit was filed in uh, 2030 by Jennifer Nelson, a filmmaker, a filmmaker uh, working on a documentary about the song. She decided that it should be free to public. Traditional American cuisine is very diverse. It consists not only of fast food and Coca-Cola, as many people believe. On the contrary, from year to year, more and more Americans choose healthy and natural food, vegetables, meat and seafood. Uh, first of all, we should be noted that almost uh, Americans begin with the salad. One of the most popular American salads is Caesar salad with chicken. Fruit salads and smoothies are often uh, served for desserts. American food you can find all over the world. And it's, it's very tasty, mm -hmm. but it's not healthy. Cambridge is a university city in the county town of Cambridgeshire, England, approximately 50 miles north of London. Cambridge became an important trading center during the Roman and Viking ages, and there's archaeological evidence. It is town where the atom was first split, where the structure of DNA was discovered, where Charles Darwin developed the theory of evolution, where, they, where Newton developed the, his he, his theory of gravity, where the order of human DNA was first discovered, where the electron and neutron was first discovered, where Stephen Hawking uh, of Black Hole fame used to live and work. It has been home uh, to some of the great thinkers uh, of the last 500 years. Christmas is a very important holiday for British people because of this day you can not just enjoy the first ro fresh roasted goose but also meet the main guest, Santa Claus. Do you know where Santa Claus lives? Anyone? Um, Finland. Finland? Mm, yes, mm. yes, in North Pole. Santa Claus lives in North Pole and also Santa Claus lives in our heart. In different countries Santa Claus is called differently. In Australia, Sylvester. Hello. In Denmark, Yolo Tont. In Finland, Yolo Tuki. In China, maybe. In China, Shu Hin. And in Japan, Odin Kanji. Santa Claus isn't much like Russian Dead Moros. Here are the main differences. Santa rides in a wagon with deers, but Dead Moros in a sleigh with horses. Santa Claus wears a nightcap, but Dead Moros a si a si just a simple just a simple red or blue hat. Santa wears black pants and red black pants and red jacket, but Santa Claus a long red coat. Santa smokes a pipe, but Dead Moros leads a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, next slide, please. Every year, Santa Claus receives more than one million letters, but not but not all from children, but from the adults too. Santa Claus uh, likes when children prepare to him fresh milk and biscuits. After he has eaten all biscuits and drunk all the meal, he puts, uh, the, he puts the presents under the Christmas tree. At the morning, children wake up 
and enjoy the new presence. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for your attention.